Hey folks, today we're going to be installing a race chip GTS Black on an Infiniti Q50 V6 3.0 twin turbo. First, we're going to start by removing the plastic engine cover. Now we're going to start on the driver's side, right hand side of the car, remove the turbo boost pressure sensor right here, simple tab on the back, press down and remove. Then you'll take the A side of the race chip wiring harness, taking the male end connector, you can only go on one way with that tab and plug it directly into the sensor. Wait till it snaps and then take the female side and plug it right onto the turbo boost pressure sensor until it snaps. Now we're going to go to the passenger side and do the exact same thing on the exact same sensor, this time using the B end of the connection. So same tab, press down and pull back and attach the sensors. Now after installing both the A and B cable, we're going to look to wire the harness. You can use the supplied zip ties. Try to use three out of the five for the harness and the other two to mount the race chip. Make sure when you're actually using the zip ties to mount the wiring harness to avoid any hot or moving parts, to not pinch any electrical plugs or to pinch any of the fluid lines. Now you're going to use two of the mounting tabs for this specific installation. We're going to go mount onto the top two holes. Take these and slide them directly in until they snap. Don't catch your glove. There you go. You're going to take one zip tie, feed it through both sides. Go ahead and take your second zip tie, mount it onto the bottom to connect the two. And found a good spot to mount it underneath the hood. For the Q50, we're going to be mounting right here on the passenger side, right next to the firewall. We're going to use one of these zip ties to hold on the actual unit itself and another to hold on the wiring harness. Last but not least, we're going to remove the deactivation plug, pull the purple snap until it clicks. Deactivation plug slides right out. Make sure you hang on to this. This is perfect for any troubleshooting or if you have any in, uh, problems with installation, you'll need to use the deactivation plug. Do not throw this away. Last thing you'll do is actually plug into the race chip itself and go ahead and push the purple until it snaps. Next up, we're going to cut the excess ends of zip ties off to make everything look factory again. To finish up the installation, we're just going to simply snap the engine cover right back on.